Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today what we have again is news uh, for this month September I have a total of 3 news which is from Dragon Momoko and Tapan uh, We'll first look at uh, Tapan first then we'll proceed on to Dragon Momoko's news and yeah, um, this picture uh, I will have something to talk about after the end of all the news announcement so if you guys are interested, stay tuned to that so yeah, without further ado, we'll start off very first with Tapan. So of course now, uh, the very first kit is this uh, Crossbone X1 Full Cloth. So yeah, um, I do not have this kit Bandai, but I actually have been aiming for one. But then now um, Tapan actually released it, so that's kind of good. Um, based on what I know, I've actually seen the X1 Full Cloth, the model kit before, and it's actually um, a little bit petite side of it like the wing series or the smaller size gun gunpla but yeah then that's you guys can see this is the box art of it and next off we'll take a look at what it looks like um once it becomes the full key. so yeah you guys can see now um this like the prototype completed the xr full cloth um of course um tap on always copy from bandai directly so can't really tell like Based on the looks, I mean, it looks almost the same But if I'm not mistaken, there is a comparison of the pictures between Tapan and the Bandai version The Tapan one, if I'm not mistaken, is slightly taller So yeah, I I might be interested to get this one But it's not my top priority My top my pri priority is on some other kits Maybe if I have extra cash in the future, then yeah, maybe I'll consider getting this kit and snap and have a look but then next, we'll take a look at another picture, which is the runner. So as always, um, there's not really much actually based on like the parts count that I saw. Um, based on here, what I just want to show you guys is the skull, the how I say the skull part of it. Just want to show you guys that it actually got the details, and yeah, it's quite good to see. Let's hope that the they actually improve the plastic quality and stuff. So yeah, the first news of for Tapan, which is of course is this X1 full cloth. So now we take a look at Tapan about to release model kit number two. So of course our very next announcement that was made is this Hakushiki 2.0, um same as Tapan, the re sort of like a remaster. So I was actually really um like not I would say happy or or like hyped about it because I mean as you guys know, the normal Bandai price, it costs around like, I mean, based on my country's currency, which is RM, Ringgit Malaysia, it's around two, around 235 if I'm not mistaken, that's like the market price of it. And I have uh, my, 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 my supplier, he's actually uh, he quoted the price, which is only 100. So that's almost like 135 Ringgit safe. With 135 Ringgit, you can get um, another kit. Uh, that's of master grade as well so yeah i'm i'm actually really want to get this kit but as of right now like i say i've spent my money on some other kits so i don't think i can buy this now but this is definitely one of my top priority kits that i myself want to get so yeah stay tuned to that anyway let's take a look at what are the other pictures that was released based on this um Hyakushiki kit so here again, what was shown, um, like a small uh, teaser for it, the parts. The, of course, the overall kit is the Go. And you guys can see that this Go, it sort of um, adopted the Bandai version of it. And it looks chrome Go. Um, quite a like dull, dullish Go like that, not to say very bright. Um, yeah, it, it would be good to see whether everything is it um, undergated. I mean that I think if I'm not mistaken they did it for the strike freedom which I'll talk about later on and yeah um, the this um, part looks great um, we'll be curious to see how it will turn out like I say I will get it maybe in November November or December around there I'll get it because um, prior to that the month or I have some other things to pay off so yeah um, now parts are done we take a look at our very next picture so this is the completed picture for it um, this test built by a China modeler um, based on this picture right I'm not sure whether is it the light lighting effect or what or the sunlight that's shining in but 
compared to the previous part, which is the runner picture, it kind of looks like it's more ye yellowish, like the like the high grade Hakushiki remastered as well. But then this is sort of like a lighter color. I really don't know how it looks like, but if it's this gold, then maybe it's not too pleasant. But again, um, it's almost more than half of the price that it's being sold in the market, so you can't really complain much. And yeah, like I said, I will get it once I'm done. Then yeah, we we'll have a look at how it, how it will looks like. But again, I am hyped for hyped for it because Hyakushiki is one of like the very unique looking model kit. Like there's I actually hope that there's actually for the Delta Kai Master Grade, but yeah, sad, sadly they do not have it. I mean they have the Delta Plus, so yeah, I mean everything is based on the the Delta, uh, Hyakushiki itself. So yeah, Tapa news it's over. There's only two announcements for this kit. There's only two announcements from Tapan, which is the X1 full cloth and the Hyakushiki 2.0 remastered. So yeah, next we'll look on to Dragon Ball Boko's news. I almost forget uh, the, the Tapan Avalanche Xia. It's actually announced, uh, like, um, actually announced a couple of months ago after the release of the Avalanche Xia. But there's not much news about it, about what they're going to do. But then finally, we have some pictures about it. The Tapa Avalanche XL, which is this prototype looking. Again, the price was announced. It's 100 ringgit, which is the same price as the Hyakushiki uh, from my supplier. You guys can check him on the link down below. And yeah, again, this um, Tapa Avalanche XL, it looks much more detailed based on this um, prime prototype version of the Avalanche. But again, there's not really much news and you guys can see based on the details which um, picture will run in the background as I talk. It looks like very very detailed and you have like a small parts that make make up of it. I don't really uh, know how to say about this because the more small parts it is to form the whole kit together, the more complicated it is and they might increase the risk of um, parts that is maybe too loose or easy to fall off then you might lose the part so on and stuff but I mean if based on detail looks wise compared to Dragon Momoko at the Avalanche XR I would say this uh, Tapan Avalanche XR looks much more detailed I would say so yeah again there's not much news co covering about this until they release uh, fully painted the XR Avalanche then yeah maybe i'll come back to it if there's news next month for me to cover so yeah that's it really for tapan so the total there are three news or three announcements by tapan on three kits so yeah now we will finally go on to the dragon mobocos um their announcement for their next kit so of course finally we have the xcr release i mean everyone have been expecting this actually once they announced the Avalanche XCR Dragon Moko. So yeah, now finally they have pictures of it, the promo picture everything. So as you guys can see here, the XCR, it's, it come in three version of it. No, four version. The normal XCR, then the R1, R2, I don't know which one, which one. And then after that you have the XCR repair mode for it. So yeah, I, I, I'm actually really hyped to get this. I've um, pre-ordered this as well. So yeah, this is one of the things that I paid for already. So what I'm actually interested in is having this kit in the XR repair mode or ignition mode. That's what they call it if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, again, now we, we take a look at the uh, first mode of it, which is, which is the normal XR. So you guys can see the very first part here is the standing Xia with his gen sword in the soft light, the heat, um, heat mode ready to slash some gen flex. So yeah, again looks awesome standing up here. And then the second part here, we take a look at the back. As you guys can see, um, when the gen sword is being rested, you, you they have uh, used the very same um silver color, the soft like the metallic silver for the gen sword when it's not um, in the heat mode and I think so I think what they try to say is that you can switch it 
into different modes when it's your for your posing or whatsoever which i do not have information about that again but yeah nonetheless again it still looks great and then the next one is the front here you can see the post sort of like um what, what you call that when you in a is it it's italian they use the sword practice the mode here so yeah again looks awesome this is the very first uh, mode of it we'll now take a look at the second mode so the next mode here is the r i don't know which r1 or r2 you guys can see um his um right hand side our our right hand side um watching the screen now our right hand side you can see his hand there there is a um beam laser gun there so yeah again i've actually not much information about the extra weapons of it i think in the manga they have it but uh, in the anime if i recall properly um they do not have all these xr um xr add-ons so yeah this is uh, the second mode of it now we'll take a look at the third mode so the final mode of course is the xr repair mode you guys can see it looks great the legs you can see the parts um sort of like came out on his left leg uh, my, I, I'll be watching here his, I'll be watching here our left hand side his, so yeah basically his right leg anyway I'm sorry I'm getting um, out of topic but yeah you guys can see here there are parts that are um, being torn off and you can see the quality of the cloth um, I would say it's alright but uh, yeah let's hope that it's gonna be like that we take a look at the second picture then yeah i'll talk about more about the yeah so the cape that i was talking about you can see here the post the cape is actually um flying upwards so i'm not sure whether they're gonna give us um, two different uh two different capes for us to post with it so that's what interests me the most to see and yeah hopefully is that and then you guys can see the, his um weapon the gen sword you guys can see that it's broken into half and the amount of detail inside there looks great as well I mean the broken pieces part there so yeah hopefully it is that it is gonna look that pretty anyway let's take a look at the other XR repair so here is the part where the gen sword is being rested and used instead the shield the beam shield beam rifle whatever to shoot its enemy so yeah again I think um, out of all the gunpla that's out uh, there is um, based, I mean what I'm saying is that the repair mode if I'm not mistaken, XCR has one um, and only Sinanju, only these two kids have sort of like a broken part that it comes with of course Sinanju, I'm talking about the real great add-on parts which again cause a bomb um, yeah, uh, but then for this, it all comes together for you to interchange with it for the XCR so yeah, it looks good I mean even if there's a fitting problem, you can offset with that since it comes with so many things at that price point so yeah we take a look at our final picture so our final picture here it says XCR repairs um, this is the stand and it's the same stand the same color that it comes with the Dragon Ball Co Strike Freedom and of course Tapa Strike Freedom the same base the design everything is almost the same but then it says XCR repairs um, I mean what if we I mean Technically for me, I would want to pose it in the repair mode because that's like so hard to get and it looks so awesome. Not many kids get that. But then if you just straight away put like XR repairs, then what about if we just want XR itself? So what are you gonna do about that? Yeah, I mean this is sort of like a petty things, but still you're gonna if you just gonna put like a repairs there right away, then it's like you sort of like limited our choices, like how we're gonna pose it. Yeah, I mean just just a thought of mine anyway the base again looks great it i think like i mentioned previously like all the china companies of gunpla is slowly i think outsourced to this company that's making the base of it so yeah anyway that's it for today's news for all the gunpla so there are total of four kits that was mentioned in this video and actually fifth there is actually a hot toys i'm not sure you guys know about this um company it's the company that produces the RX 78 II um, SD version with the Master Grade uh, inner frame. And recently they announced there is going to be SD version of the Evangelion of it by Hot Toys Company. So again, if you guys are interested, you guys can check them out and pre-order with your supplier. So yeah, and that's it really for news today.
um, before I end the video, like I mentioned in the beginning, there is something I want to talk about um, based on the picture. So we'll get right on to it. So the picture here, as you guys can see, um, this is my room. Um, recently, I've just done with my finals as well, my last paper in my college. So hopefully everything goes well, I'll be able to pass, then I'll finally get a job. And then yeah, I was um, going to reposition my this workplace. If, if you guys do not know, I've actually increased the height of the table. Before that, it was very low and very difficult for me to fix my Templar. So yeah, I rearranged everything. As you guys can see, the boxes, so on and so forth. Um, everything is still not done yet, but I promise you guys by end of this, excuse me, end of this week, I will settle everything on my workplace, and then I'll start again grinding out videos since I'm now on holiday, so I can grind out more videos. And the strike freedom, it's actually almost done already. Left the wings, weapons, everything. The mo the mobile suit itself is really done. So all all I'm waiting for is just complete the wings, and then um fix this table, have better lighting and add on some stuff and clean the gunpla because my I don't know not sure why but it's just so dusty. Then yeah after that um more videos will be coming out very soon. Everything is being planned out. Next week I will start to release out um all the videos that I've planned. So yeah again for all you guys who have watched all the way until this part here uh I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe to me, drop a like down below, or even um, recommend it to your friends and other Gunpla fans. So yeah, I think that's really it. Until then, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys really soon for another video which is related to this or even some other figure review videos. So yeah, until then, I'll see you guys very soon.